Hi, I'm Brian Barnett, Mayor of the City of Rochester Hills, and as always, thanks for watching. Now, coming to you today from the northeast section of our city, up in the historic district along the Tinkin Corridor. Now, you know, much of our vlogs uh, over the summer are spent talking about the construction projects and updating our residents about the progress. And certainly we want to take just a moment to do that. As you know, school started this week, and uh, uh, fortunately for us, two of our three segments of Tinkin Road opened just prior to school. The section of Tinkin Road from Adams to Brewster is now fully open, and the section of Tinkin from the roundabout at uh, Livernois all the way to Rochester uh, Road is also now open. Work continues, curbs are being poured this week, and hopefully very soon we will open up the final connecting section of Tinkin Road. What I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today was uh, what you see behind me. You know, when we undergo a construction project, in large measure we're looking to make safety improvements or enhancements to the road network. It could be adding capacity, it could be improving sight distance, uh, it could be uh, uh, adding pathways for our bikers and our walkers. Whatever it might be, in large measure, we're trying to make motoring uh, and walking and, and traversing the city a little bit more safe. That's why you see the addition of roundabouts. Roundabouts are safer in general and have greatly reduced the number of serious accidents over traditional intersections where they've been implemented. Now, we don't only want these roundabouts to, uh, to operate and to be effective. That's certainly very important, but we also want them to be somewhat attractive. Uh, you can drive by roundabouts anywhere in southeast Oakland County and see mounds of dirt or mounds of grass, but here in Rochester Hills, we wanted to invest to make sure that our residents know that we're proud of our community, that we take pride in everything here, even if it's the space between pavement. We want to spend some money and make sure that we're doing it in a way that uh, brings pride and attention to our community. So take a look. This is the first of three roundabouts that will be enhanced and improved over the next several months. And ultimately, when this project open, opens a little bit later this year, we hope that you'll be very proud of what we've tried to do in enhancing, making more safe and beautifying the road conditions here in Rochester Hills. As always, thank you for watching and make sure you drive safe.